What's good everybody, Jay Coffee Talk here. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, but we got some hip-hop news regarding the long-standing Eminem, Lord Jamar feud that's been going on for quite some time. It all kind of started when Lord Jamar became, uh, I guess we'll call it a resident, corresponding consultant on Vlad TV, you know, doing all them interviews with Vlad chiming in on all the situations and topics within the hip-hop world and he's just kind of made it clear he just ain't really messing with M. you know i mean gave him his props said that he's talented but just doesn't feel M belongs anywhere near uh goat status or greatest rapper alive or none of that and you know just feels that in in hip hop, people really ain't rocking with Eminem. Like fans ain't listening to Eminem. People ain't listening to Eminem in the hood. And um, you know, this been going on for a minute. We seen Fifty Cent get involved, having Eminem's back. Uh, at one point, Boosie has something to say about it. You know that he didn't care what Lord Jamar said. That M was one of the greats. Um, it, it, uh, Rock him chimed in and, and spoke up for Eminem. We seen it's been going on for a minute, man. And uh, you know, M did diss Lord Jamar on the Kamikaze album. I believe the track was called Fall, and that kind of reignited things where Lord Jamar started speaking on it again, you know, on Vlad and in other platforms. And then we seen them both going back and forth with these cryptic tweets. Eminem put out that, you know, people swear they want this problem until they get it tweet that had the whole hip-hop world and and all us fans like wondering was i'm gonna come with some big epic diss track which uh you know we didn't really get that climactic moment like we all thought that lord jamar chimed in uh you know every problem has a solution which everyone felt like it had to do with that situation and, um, you know, it's just been going on for a minute. Well, now Eminem, you know, is in Abu Dhabi doing a show and he's got Mr. Porter with him, you know, fellow D12, which is isn't really a, a group anymore, um, you know. And, but uh, Mr. Porter is that dude, man. I'd have to say out of everyone in D12, other than M, you know, in proof, he's the next one up there, made a lot of beats in the game. He's had a good career. Of course, that's M's hype man nowadays for a minute now. And um, M, you know, in between songs was like, I had a dream that I was an effing nobody who sucked at rap. Do you know who I was, Mr. Porter? Mr. Porter's like, who? And he said, Lord Jamar. So I don't know, man. It's just kind of it's just kind of crazy. Right. Like every time this thing seems to die down, something else happens. And um, I don't know, man. I'll tell you what I'd like to see. I want to see a battle. Since M's a spitter and Lord Jamar is all about hip-hop and the culture, I want to see these dudes do some, let's like make it a huge pay-per-view event. You know what I mean? And um, have some of the greats in hip-hop, like solidified legends, judge the battle and just let these two get on the mic and just, you know, uh, show who's the superior MC. I think that would be be the way to do it. You know what I mean? Like, let let's uh, this is all about hip hop. You know, in the spirit of hip hop, debate about hip hop. Like, let's let's see a battle or something. You know what I mean? Um, we've seen a couple uh, mainstream rappers slide over to the the battle rap lane and, and, and do what they do over there. But like, come on, man! Like, let's. Let's see that happen. Um, I don't know. Like, what do you guys think about this whole situation? The whole uh, little beef between them. Um, M seemingly kind of coming out of nowhere and dissing them. Um, it's just kind of wild to me. You know, a lot of people criticized Eminem during the MGK beef because, you know, M kind of stays in the cut. He doesn't do a lot of interviews. He ain't. He doesn't do podcasts. He he. He's standoffish with the media, you know, ever since he got clean and put them drugs down and, uh, you know, he's like reclusive or or whatever you want to call it, you know, stays stays out of the spotlight, which nothing wrong with that. But nowadays in this digital era, you know, content on demand, people want to see these rappers going and doing interviews on different platforms. And when he was, um, you know, beef with MGK, he, he put out his response track. But, um, you know, he did one interview 
MGK was all over the place on the road, you know, interviewing with the Breakfast Club and everyone else. And then Eminem does an in-house interview with Sway because, you know, Sway works for Shade 4 or 5. And um, a lot of people just felt that that was kind of a cheap route to go because, you know, it's in-house so they can edit it the way they want. Um, they can control what questions are asked. And I don't know. You know what I mean? Like the people want to see more from Eminem. And I mean, he's semi-retired, so it is what it is. It's kind of the same way with Jay-Z. You know what I mean? That They stay in the cut. So, I mean, when you've got that kind of bread, I guess that's what, you know, you can choose to, to go that route. But what do y'all think about this whole situation? Tapping in the comments. If you're new on the channel, it's all about kicking with you guys and hearing what the people got to say on this platform. So let's get that comment right going. And if you didn't in the beginning, hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell. Daily content dropping on all different topics, music, news, sports, all kinds of stuff. That's how we do it on J Coffee Talk. So with that being said, I'm going to sign out. I will catch you guys on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.